as I begin my speech, I would like to give the examples of few people uh, from the lands of history whose greed and perseverance are still something that we look upon today. Thomas Alva Edison, one of the greatest inventors of all time. He is known for the invention of the light bulb. But before the invention of the light bulb, it is said that he failed in 999 attempts. In his thousand attempt, he could invent the light bulb. Abraham Lincoln, the President of the United States, responsible for abolition of slavery in the United States of America. But before his election to the President of the United States, he had to face multiple failures. He lost multiple elections. He faced failures in his business, in his personal lives and relationships as well. He had to go through nervous breakdown as well. But despite all these failures, his persistence and determination met him and met him to go through all those situations. And as a result of which, we see him being elected to the President of the United States. Not only the President, but one of the greatest President the United States of America has ever had. In my five attempts, it took me five attempts and five years had I given up in my earlier attempts, today I would not be standing here addressing the gathering. So I would like to encourage everyone, the students, community especially, to never give up upon your dreams and to persist in your dreams and carry on. Also, before you embark on your journey in life, whatever may be the dreams, Assess your capabilities, your strengths and weakness first before you embark on your journey. Based on your assessment, as you take your decision, once your decision is taken, just focus on that one thing that you are aiming for. In the case of civil service examination, it is said that nothing lesser than the laser sharp focus will give you success. I repeat it, nothing lesser than the laser sharp focus will give you success. Similarly, you have to have a clear reason and motive of why you are pursuing your dreams. The reason behind why you are aiming for such and such a dream. For example, in the case of civil service examination as well. It is said that if you know your why, you will know your how. In this journey of civil service examination preparation, or maybe in our pursuit for any dreams in life, we may sacrifice a lot of things. Those small, small sacrifices that you make in life will end up to give you a huge reward at the end. For the civil service examination preparation, we may have to sacrifice our social medias or maybe even our social life as well. Or even the phone which we carry, we may use analog phone, the keypad phone instead of smartphone as well. These are the few sacrifices which add up to ultimately give you the bigger, larger reward. I tell you one thing, that you become an officer during the process of preparation itself. So every day you should strive towards the officer you want to become. The day of the result is just an official stamp of approval of the officer that you have become. So while preparing, you have to strive towards the person or the thing that you want to become. Also, it is important for each and every one of us to take care of our physical and mental aspects of our life and of our body itself. In this, exercise and meditation helps a lot to cope up with the physical and mental demands. I would be guilty if I do not mention the contribution of the, of the prayers of my parents and all my loved ones. It is as a result of the answered prayers of my parents and all my loved ones that today I am standing here and addressing the gathering. Also with regards to preparation aspects, I will always be available for guidance and also to encourage the younger aspirants who are aspiring for 
especially the new PSC examination. So feel free to approach me anytime. I will give my email ID to the organizers, so interested students will please collect uh, my email ID from them. But last but the most important thing that I would like to focus here is that we should give God first in all our pursuits. God first and everything will come in its place. As the pastor in the beginning has mentioned also Matthew 6.33. And also with Psalm 16 verse 8, I would like to end this speech that is, this psalm has always been very close to my heart while I was preparing. So it says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right and I shall not be shaken. So with this, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you all.